Amanda Bynes, Drunk Driving, Lindsay Lohan, Drugs, Britney Spears, Depression. So was Miley Cyrus's VMA performance indicative of a troubled life off stage? I don't think she's Amanda Bynes at all. That's what I like. Oh, that's what I really like about Miley Cyrus. That she's very aware. She's very aware that child stars, Edward Furlong from Terminator 2, where is he now? Macaulay Culkin, where is he, where is he now? Lindsay Lohan and Amanda Bynes, perfect examples. You know what I mean? Hilary Duff escaped into the fashion industry. So did Mary Kay and Ashley, you know? I don't think she's going crazy. You know, going crazy would be something like, like, like I mentioned, Amanda Bynes, where weird stuff happens off, you know, off the stage. If she's crashing cars, she's getting drunk, you know, like uh, shoplifting and things like that, then, you know, she's kind of local. I think, you know, something's got to hit, but she's doing all this stuff in the public eye, you know, at the VMAs and her music videos. So, for all we know, she's like super normal at home, you know, like having dinner with, with her dad and stuff. I don't think she cares. I mean, she just came out recently and, and, and said that um, she, her statement about the whole thing was, um, that y'all are just uh, thinking about it too much. You know, you're overthinking it because um, I didn't think about it at all, which is pretty obvious. She put absolutely no thought into that performance. Um, so I don't know if she's actually, you know, strategically planning it that way. Maybe it's her management that's manipulating the whole thing and she, you know, doesn't really care, so. The men aren't spared either. Chris Brown was only 15 when he burst onto the scene, and by 20, he was a convicted felon for beating then-girlfriend Rihanna. Michael Jackson's star shined the brightest and ended with sex abuse allegations and drug abuse. Even Justin Bieber has been showing up late to gigs, fainting at others, also lashing out at photographers. So what really drives these child stars crazy? Growing up with so much experiences that you know most people don't go through in a lifetime. You know, um, If they're touring, can you imagine what it would be like to be touring and to be be waking up in a different city or in a different town all the time and to be expected to perform, to work. I mean, kids, if you're a kid, you need your, I mean, you study and then you've got your time off to play and things to do on your own. But well, if you're a pop star, you're an actress, you're a celebrity, you're expected to work, you're expected to perform, you know, go on this show, do your weekly series, go do this concert. Um, everybody's constantly wanting you to do stuff and, you know, media's in your face. So that's not, that can't be normal, right? I mean, it has to be insane to suddenly have the whole world watching you. And at first, when you're, you know, first starting, and as a kid, you're seeking, like, validation and, and, and support. And it starts, it, it starts off exciting, I guess. But then after a while, uh, the more popular you get, inevitably, you'll also have your, you'll have your fan club and you'll also have your hate club, right? Uh, which is just natural, but when you're that young and you haven't figured out who you are, what you want to say, they're just too young to handle it, I guess. If I had that money and I had that kind of exposure, I'd do the exact same thing. I'm not even going to kid you. That, that would not make me a bad person. That, that just means I'm growing up. I mean, like a lot of teenagers, we dye our hair after secondary school. You know, we, we pick up things we shouldn't do just because we want to, not because we, we're bad people, you know? Our experts weigh in on the star meltdowns that took them by surprise. Corey Monteith, you know, and he totally had a meltdown um, and is no longer here with us. Um, had, had such a great future, wonderful girlfriend, you know, so talented. But somehow with stardom and with being on that uh, international stage, whatever your demons are from your past get amplified. I think Britney Spears, though, because when she came out, she was this a sweet little girl, and then, you know, and then she had that meltdown, you know, that, that you know, she shaved her head and did crazy stuff, married that K-Fat dude, married a friend for like a day or something, right? And then, yeah, but the thing about Britney Spears is, I think she had a happy ending, you know? Yeah, and when she came out, I expected her, a lot of people were like, you know, Britney Spears, she had that meltdown, and then she was so normal, she was very lucid, you know, when she went on the show, she, she had all these opinions and stuff, and people, People who remember her for that shave thing would think, hey, look at her, she's fine. I think the one that surprised me most was Lindsay Lohan. Because more than any of the other child actors, I thought she had the most talent. She has more talent than Macaulay Culkin, Miley Cyrus all combined. I did not expect her to go down that road. And I've seen her act recently. She was in Machete, she tried to do a few scenes on SNL, she was dreadful. You can see the effects it has on her and no makeup can cover that up. So before Miley Cyrus brings her onstage antics offstage, 
Our experts offer how she can redeem herself before her album Bangers launches in October. Is it possible she was talking about like uh, bangers and mash? Maybe she really likes sausages. I think you need to have guidance. I think careful guidance is very important. I mean, look at, look at the Harry Potter stars. They're doing great. Look at Emma Watson. You know, she can do the bling ring and still do it classy. Look at Jennifer Lawrence. She just picked up an Oscar. You know, these are child stars that are doing it right. To do something like what Britney Spears did would be good, to be like a judge on, on the show because it shows that, you know, you're you know, this bimbo who's out just out to have a good time. You know, you have views, you have opinions, you can you lose it, you can speak. Uh, that'll be good. Hmm. Well, judging from her next single, which is Wrecking Ball, which is really good, I love, and it's got a lot of heart and emotion in it, in it. it's possible that she perhaps strategized to put out the worst song possible just to um, sort of under-deliver so she can wow us. I don't know. I hope so. But she's smart about it. You know, she'll show you what she can do to piss you off and push your buttons and then at the end of it remind you that she's just human and she's not oblivious about it. She knows exactly what she's doing and she's not a bad person. She just wants to have fun. Was Miley really crazy or just a shrewd musician? Catch our other clip where our experts give you the answer.